Hello, welcome to your practice today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we'll do a 30 minute uh, practice today, so we'll get started right away. Um, if you wanna follow along, again, there are there's a Spotify playlist um, in the notes for the video. So you can um, take your seat. And as you take your seat, you can either close the eyes or you can let the eyes fall to the earth in front of you. Bringing your attention right away to your breath. And as you inhale and exhale, noticing that cycle of breath, that beginning of the breath, the middle of the breath, and the end of the breath. And I want us to focus today on that idea of beginning, middle, and end. So everything has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Our practice has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Our breath has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Each shape has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So our practice doesn't become static. You know, when we find ourselves in our poses, it's not a sense of finding a perfect pose, of staying there, of never shifting. Yeah, it's a process. We get into it. We change, we shift, we come out of it. Yeah, beginning, middle, and end. You can let your hands come into a prayer in front of your heart. And we'll chant OM one time. And oftentimes when we think of OM, we think of kind of OM, right? OM. But in reality, the, the sound, it, it could be spelled A-U-M. OM. Yeah, right? It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. So as we chant this one ohm, just think about that. Finding the beginning, the middle, the end. The A, the U, and the M. Taking a deep breath in. they can float open. And we'll send the legs out in front of us. You can shake the legs out a little bit. Bending the left knee, drawing the knee in, and we'll open up, sole of the foot connecting into the inner thigh. Arms sweeping high, breathing in. With an exhale, it's a twist over the right shoulder. Right fingers down, left hand finds the outside of the right thigh. By pressing down through the back fingers, the crown of the head rises. And then using this left hand, spiraling a little bit deeper back over that right shoulder. Big breath in here, filling it up. With an exhale, releasing that twist, left hand comes down behind the left hip. And we rise up for a stargazer, sweeping the right arm back, opening through the right side body. Exhaling, hips to the earth. And we switch sides, sending the left leg out, sole of the right foot, finding the thigh. Sweeping the arms high, breathing in. Exhale, twisting over the left shoulder. Finding the length. Breathing in. Using that right hand, big exhale to ring it out. One more inhale here. And with an exhale, we release right hand down behind us, rising up, reaching back through the left side. Exhale, sending the hips down to the floor. And we'll come out onto hands and knees, taking our time, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. With a breath in, right foot reaches back and rises up to hip height. With an exhale, knee to the nose, rounding the spine. 
Sending right heel back, heart forward, breathing in, drawing it in, rounding the spine, exhaling. One more time, sweeping it back, breath in. Knee to the nose, and we curl it in and step that foot forward, maybe using the hands to help it between the hands. Maybe scooching that left knee back a little bit, creating space. Coming up onto the fingertips, feel the heart reaching forward off of that right thigh. With an exhale, shifting back, right leg lengthens, letting the head release off the neck. Breathing in, crawling back forward, heavy hips, light heart. Exhale, shifting back, lengthening through the right leg. One more time, crawling forward, lifting the heart, breathing in, and allowing the hips to shift back, lengthening right leg. On an inhale, coming back forward, letting the hips get heavy and sweeping the arms up to the sky for a low crescent lunge. Big breath in here. On an exhale, hands to the mat, and we step the right foot back to meet the left foot for our first downward facing dog. And giving it a big breath in, settling into the shape, breathing out. An inhale floats us out long to a plank pose, heart forward, heels back, knees to the mat, toes point, elbows hugging in as we lower to the earth. Heart stretches forward, baby cobra, breathing in. And traveling back to hands and knees, evening out on all fours. On a breath in, left heel floats back and foot comes up to hip height. Exhale, knee to the nose, pressing the floor away with the hands. Inhale, left heel back, heart reaches forward. Exhale, drawing it in, nose to knee, knee to nose. One more time, reaching back, inhaling. Knee to nose and the foot steps forward between the hands, maybe using the hand for help. Maybe scooching that right knee back a little bit, creating space. Fingertips rooting down, heart stretching forward, breathing in. On an exhale, hips back over the right knee, folding into the left leg. Inhale, crawling forward, heavy hips, light heart. Exhale, drawing it back bowing down. One more time like this, shifting forward with that breath in and shifting back with the exhale. On a breath in, coming forward to that lunge and sweeping the arms forward and up. Anjaneyasana, shoulders soft, fingertips light. Exhaling, hands to the mat, this time the right foot steps forward to meet the left foot at the top of the mat. Soft knees, let yourself hang heavy, maybe give it a little shake out. Breathing in deeply and with an exhale, the knees get even bendier and we roll up to stand, stacking the spine. Finding Tadasana, feet together, palms turning open, heart opening. With a breath in, arms reaching up to the sky. Exhale, folding all the way over. Breathing in, left foot steps to the back of the mat. On an exhale, the right leg lengthens, folding toward a pyramid pose. Inhale, rebending the right knee, heart forward. Downward facing dog, exhaling. It's a plank pose, breathing in. Straight legs or bent legs, lowering all the way down to the mat. Toes point, heart lifts, cobra, breath in. Down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, exhaling. Right leg to the sky, breathing in. Foot between the hands, breathing out. Back foot forward, lifting halfway, long spine. Releasing over the legs, exhaling. Arms to the sky, finding a prayer. Hands connect at the heart. Breathing out, sweeping it high, inhaling, diving over the legs, exhaling. Right foot steps back, breathing in. Left leg lengthens, bowing over that leg. Inhale, rebending the left knee, heart forward, downward facing dog, exhaling. 
plank pose. Breathing in. Maybe this time you add chaturanga. Maybe you lower all the way down. Heart lifts. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Exhaling. Left leg high. Breathing in. Foot stepping forward. Breathing out. Right foot forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, releasing over the legs. Arm to the sky, breathing in. Hands through the heart, finding Tadasana, arms release. Softening the knees back into chair pose, Utkatasana. Letting the hips get heavy, heels get heavy. Breathing in. Exhale, diver's pose, letting the arms wing back, lengthening the legs, and rising up onto the toes. Inner ankles, inner thighs, drawing toward the midline. Bending the knees for chair pose, reaching it up. Big breath in, and we fold over the legs. Exhaling. Lengthening the spine, breath in. Bending the knees, planting the palms. You can step to plank or hop right back through a chaturanga. Rising, up dog or cobra. And we meet in down dog, breathing out. Big inhale, big exhale. With an inhale, the right leg rises. Foot between the hands, exhaling. Find a lift of the heart, fingertips pressing down. And with an exhale, swiveling the toes to the left. Prasarita Padottanasana. Coming up onto the fingertips again, lengthening, creating space. And with an exhale, palms to the earth under the shoulders. Folding forward, head heavy, weight tipping slightly toward the toes. Coming back up onto the fingertips, lengthening the spine. Heels in, toes out. With an exhale, the left knee bends and we sink the hips over toward the left heel. Maybe flexing that right foot, toes pointing to the sky. Coming back through center, paralleling the toes, forward fold. Inhaling, arms to the sky, rising. Exhale, top of the mat, warrior two. Right toes forward, right knee bend. Shoulders right above the hips, finding that steadiness. Pressing into the right foot, lengthening the right leg, breathing in. Maybe the back foot walks in a step as we shift to triangle pose. Exhaling. Bottom ribs spiraling up into the top ribs, inhaling. Exhale, right knee bends, elbow finds the right thigh, left arm stretches long over the ear. Extended side angle. Breathing in, breathing out. Left hand to left hip, walking the right fingers forward onto the earth as we shift the weight onto the right foot. Half moon pose. Left leg back, left fingertips float to the sky. And then maybe we find that lift through the front body up toward the fingertips. On an exhale, it's a big step back to warrior two, landing softly. Turning the palms, peaceful warrior, right arm tips high. Exhale, hands circle down to the mat. Planting the left palm, side plank, right foot on top, right fingertips to the sky. Light through the hips, light through the heart, right hand to the mat, take it through your vinyasa. Breathing in, left foot back and up. Exhaling, foot between the hands. Breath in to create some space. Exhale, walking the hands to the right, turning to the long side of the mat. Fingertips pressing down, lengthening the spine, heels in, toes out right away. Exhale, bending the right knee, maybe turning the left toes up toward the sky. Bringing it back through center, paralleling the feet, heavy forward fold. Arms reaching to the sky, breathing in. And we turn to the top of the mat, Virabhadrasana two, left knee bends. Breathing in, breathing out. 
pressing into the left foot, lengthening the left leg, inhaling, maybe back foot walks in a step, shifting to triangle pose, spreading through the arms, spreading through the heart, breath in, exhale, left knee bends, elbow to the thigh, right arm reaches long, creating that long extended side angle through the right side of the body. Filling up the lungs. Exhale, right hand to right hip. Walking the left fingertips forward, and we shift into that half moon pose. Right leg back and sweeping the right fingertips up and away. With an exhale, it's a soft landing in warrior two. Flipping the palms for peaceful warrior, opening the left ribs. Exhale, hands cartwheel down, right hand under the shoulder, left foot on top of the right foot for that side plank. Big breath in. Exhale, take it through vinyasa. Once you're back in down dog, it's a big inhale. A big exhale. Softening the knees, looking forward, stepping or hopping the feet to meet the hands. Long spine, breathing in. Chair pose, soften it back. Exhale. Breath in, diver's pose. Winging the arms back, rising up onto the toes. Lowering the right heel, left foot sweeps back. Virabhadrasana, three. Warrior three pose. Arms to the sky, knee to the chest, rising all the way up to stand. Hands to that left knee, drawing it in and up. Feel free to stay here and hold on to the knee or reach down and take a peace sign around that left big toe. Right arm floats high and if you have the toe, the left foot might float forward. Left shoulder blade into the back. Keep breathing. Right arm stays floating, softening through the left knee. And we catch the foot behind us, either holding the inside or outside of that foot. On an exhale, left foot floats into the left hand, shifting the weight toward the front of that right foot. Now be careful with that back leg, softly releasing the hands. Left hand tumbles down to the mat. Right arm reaches up to the sky for a rotated half moon pose. Right hand to the earth. Step it forward. Forward fold. And give it a little shake out here. Lengthening the spine, breath in. Chair pose, sink it back, breath out. Diver's pose, winging the arms back, rising up onto the toes. Left heel lowers, right foot reaches back, warrior three. Feel that right hip spinning down ever so slightly. Knee to the chest, arms to the sky, floating up to stand. Hands to the knee, drawing it in, gently releasing the hip flexor. Either staying here or taking your peace sign, right fingers around the right big toe, left arm to the sky, and maybe that right leg extends. Utita Hasta Parangustasana, hand to big toe pose. Keeping the left arm extended, softening the right knee, and we catch the foot behind us, either inside or outside of the ankle, inner thighs drawing in. On an exhale, right foot into that right hand, weight shifting toward the left toes. Gently releasing that right foot, right hand to the mat, left arm to the sky, rotated half moon. 
Breathing in. And let it fold. Hands to the earth, feet to the earth. Give it a little shake out. Lengthening the spine, breathing in. And we'll plant the palms, stepping softly back to downward facing dog. Breathing in, it's plank pose. Rolling out long. Exhale, lowering down with control. Bringing the elbows down underneath the shoulders, finding a sphinx pose. Elbows drawing back, heart reaching forward. Taking the left hand and turning the arm so the fingers are facing the right wrist. We'll bend the right knee. You can stay here. Maybe reach back with the right hand, catching the right ankle. Another option is to take the hand on top of the foot, turning the fingers forward and pointing the elbow toward the sky for a half frog pose. Keeping the heart reaching forward. Inhale. Softly releasing the right leg. And we'll come back to that sphinx pose. Finding ourselves centered. Taking the right arm, turning it in so the fingers are facing the left wrist. Bending the left knee. Option to stay here. Option to reach back and catch the ankle, either inside or outside. Option to take the hand on top of the foot and shift it around so the fingers face forward and the elbow points to the sky. It's a little funky. Feeling those left ribs spiraling forward. Big inhale. Exhale, let it go softly. Coming back to that sphinx. Breath in and releasing. Let's bring the forehead onto the hands, making a little pillow. And you can give the hips a little sway from side to side, releasing the low back. Take it slowly. We'll roll onto our backs. Stepping the feet onto the floor, taking the arms out into a T, palms facing the sky, and give it a little sway with the knees from right to left. Both knees falling softly over to the left side and turning the head to the right for a twist. Breathing in, bringing it back through center. Knees melting to the right and head turning to the left. Now remembering that there's a beginning, a middle, and an end to each breath. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end to this shape. Staying where you are, left arm comes over to meet the right arm, curling into a little ball. And we'll press into the left hand, rising up to sit. Taking the feet onto the floor in front of us, opening the knees. And for today, we'll actually scooch the feet forward a little bit. This is going to get more into the outer hips for a Tarasana. Reaching down, maybe we hold the shins or the knees, wherever we can reach. Breath in, and with a breath out, tilting forward onto the fronts of the sitting bones. Reaching the heart forward, 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 and then eventually allowing the upper body to round and melt forward.
the breath in, rolling back up to sit. We'll bring the knees together, stretching the legs out long, and taking your time to melt onto your back, releasing into Shavasana. Maybe taking a big breath in once you've arrived with an exhale, maybe out of the mouth, letting everything go. breath can start to deepen. The fingers and the toes can find a little wiggle, a little movement. Gently letting the knees bend, stepping the feet onto the floor. And rolling softly onto the right side. Coming up to sit. And we'll meet with the hands at the heart. And one more time, we will chant Om. Reminding ourselves of the beginning, the middle, and the end. Breathing in deeply. Thank you so much for your practice today. Namaste.